New build this league, boys. Seismic for the first time in history of PoE. We're gonna play Seismic. Oh yeah, guys. Hey, guys, guys. Exciting new stuff. We're gonna buff Mede by fucking killing it. Dual fucking reason. Strike skills are playable. Can be playable. is because of this fucking mastery they just removed. Are you kidding me? Shit skills are still shit. Usable skills are worse. Unique items. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that's a buff to melee? Oh, yeah, because I'm definitely gonna use these unique items on so many fucking melee builds that are definitely not viable because there's some unique items that are better than it used to be before and still are not good enough. How is this a timeline we're in? Havok, explain this shit to me. Where strike skills get nerfed and fucking seismic and cooldown gets buffed by 60%. Explain, explain this shit to me, I can't, I can't understand. Oh, oh, we have a couple extra chat nice questions one. here. Oh, everyone was asking about divine shards, yeah. I see your chat, I see you spamming divine shards. Okay, everyone wants uh -oh. to know. Are divine shards He's are gonna be you. a thing? Are... <laughs> Chris? No. They're called chaos orbs. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked. God damn it. The design path of it is just that if you're playing the crazy Imperium style Wait, stuff you describe it, then name drop. Less, oh fuck, bro. <laughs> Huey is dead. Is it, has it been some sort of change to the way that you're like Your approaching fault, the reveals confirm. and the patch noting and stuff? Maybe uh, like how okay, you're describing it's something? Because you don't fall. Like, you, you historically, you've never. Uh, I don't know what to say. 30% quality support gems on disfavor. Yeah, but like, like, bro. I'm happy for you melee cucks out there. I'm very happy. Look at my face. I am happy for you guys. But I'll be honest. Let's just put all the cards on the fucking table. Okay? Let's put all the goddamn cards on the table. Okay? I just want you to understand that I'm going to put every single card on the table. Okay? I don't give a fuck. I'm going to put that weapon on my fucking AG and Bob the Fifth will wreak havoc in Ray class, okay? I don't care about those support gems in there getting quality. They ain't going to do shit for me, man. My AG is going to be wheeling that motherfucker and he's going to be killing shit, okay? Why do the work when I can have my minions do the work for me? Gotta be smart, man. Jesus Christ. Will get upset if we nerf their skills. And this is because of the way they like to play Path of Exile. If we just decide we hate minion characters one day, then all these people who come to Path of Exile to enjoy playing minion characters as a reliable way they can engage with the game would be upset that now they can't do the thing they like. In Ruthless, all bets are off. We will make whatever changes we feel like and it will stay hard and you will have to adapt. And, you know, the Ruthless players are big boys. They can deal with this. And <laughs> it should be fine. So we will make some. Only skills. inside or everywhere in the game? What? No way. Uh, that is absolutely insane. What? Why are people complaining? Everyone's gonna be cracked. Oh, there's no buffs this league! There's no buffs this league! Um, I will feel weaker than the last league! Shut the fuck up. There's no Arch Nemesis and you have relics. Regen of like five or six percent life regen, just like random effects, right? This is a direct multiplier to your damage on any monster that has any form of regen. Now, at first glance, it doesn't really matter because most monsters die in like one second or two seconds. But let me give you an example. You ever fought Maven before and she jumps in your map and you're fighting Minotaur and you kind of have shit gear because you're progressing and she goes, take this vitality boon. And then Minotaur heals like literally half of his life. Well, now instead of half, he heals a quarter. And if you decide to use the Pantheon with this, instead of healing a quarter, well, he heals a none. You ever run that map that says, uh, enemies have consecrated ground and you weren't paying attention on your Elder Guardian map because Kirak gave it to you and you try to kill the guy, but he just keeps running on consecrated ground and healing? Well, guess what? Zero life regen. Is this a life node? That's a life mastery? Holy RF got buffed, boys! Oh, man! That's like, you're right, life- Oh my god, that's actually big! The Tribal Fury notable passive skill no longer has strike skills target one additional nearby enemy. It now has melee strike skills deal splash damage to surrounding targets. Good!
Insane. The two small passive skills in the Tribal Fury cluster which provide 10% increased melee damage and 15% increased melee splash area of effect have been removed. Added okay. a new attack mastery that provides strike skills target one additional nearby enemy, which replaces the strike skills target additional enemies can do so from 30% further away mastery. Wait, no, 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 I don't want, no, 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 put them together, no, no, do you guys even play melee? The what? amount of currency and stuff that you're getting, and uniques, in fact, especially uniques that you're getting uh. for regular gameplay involving a variety of different leagues does exceed what it was in 318. Uh, I don't think that's true. I just don't think that's true at all. I think currency, yeah. But uniques, nah. But I think this is just Chris being clueless. I don't think this is malicious. I don't know. I think he might just be clueless. Plus 10! Plus 10! Plus 10! Plus 10 weapon reach! Oh, oh. oh my god! Void for its unique sword no longer has 30 to 6 fist damage. It now has gained 7. Who knows what I'm thinking? Animate weapon.